two uh, very big steps were taken. The most important thing to understand is that this stage represents 60% of the Indian population. If the parties on this stage unite, it is impossible for the BJP to win an election. So the task in front of us is to come together in the most efficient way possible. And two big steps have been taken in that regard. The first step is a coordination committee and committees under that committee. And the second step is a decision that we will expedite all seat sharing discussions and decisions and make them happen as soon as possible. These are two very, very powerful steps in ensuring that the Indian Alli India Alliance defeats the BJP. The election is very, very clear. I did a press conference yesterday and the nexus between the Prime Minister and a particular businessman is there for every single person to see. I mentioned yesterday in my press conference that the G20 is taking place and it is very important for India's credibility, our nation's credibility, that the Prime Minister makes his position very clear and begins an inquiry on what has happened with regards to Mr. Adani. The Prime Minister and the BJP are a nexus of corruption. And that is the first thing that the India Alliance is going to demonstrate and prove. The idea behind Prime Minister Modi's government is to extract money from the poor people of this country and transfer it to a limited few. And so we are going to propose a clear path development path, we are going to put together a clear set of ideas that will once again involve the poor people, the farmers, the kisans, the workers in the progress of this country. I'd like to once again thank all the senior leaders and I'm confident that the India Alliance will defeat the BJP. The final thing I'd like to say, uh, of course there are leaders who are much more senior than me, but the real work in this alliance is the relationships that are forged between the leaders of this alliance. And I can say with confidence that these two meetings have done a huge amount in building the rapport between all the leaders and ensuring that all of us work together as one. I can see that there is flexibility among all the leaders in the way we are approaching things. Uh, there are differences, of course, but I am extremely impressed by the way those differences are minimized and ironed out. Ironed out. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, I don't want to comment much about the press, uh, but I think Laluji said it best. You're also uh, in some ways restricted and chained, and India Alliance is working to free you from your chains. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot one thing. I forgot, I forgot one thing, which is probably the most important thing. Uh, I spent a week in Ladakh. I went to Pangong Lake, uh, right in front of where the Chinese are. And I had detailed discussions, probably the most detailed discussions that any politician outside Ladakh has had with the people of Ladakh. And specifically, the shepherds of Pangong Lake, 
the leaders of Pangong Lake and the common people who live around Pangong Lake. And they categorically told me that the Chinese have taken Indian land. They categorically told me that the Prime Minister is lying about the fact that the Chinese have not taken Indian land. And every single person in Ladakh knows that the people of India and the people of Ladakh have been betrayed by the government of India. There is clearly, there is clearly an accommodation that has happened between the government and the Chinese there is clearly a change on the borders. Our shepherds themselves told us that they are not being allowed into the areas where they were allowed. So this is known to everybody. Unfortunately, our press doesn't raise these issues. But these are issues of national importance, of national security. And it is shameful, extremely shameful, what has happened in Ladakh. Thank you. First of all, I want to say Sharad Pawar Ji, Thakre Ji, and our Maharashtra Congress, I want to thank them for their work, that they have a very good session here for us. किया सेशन में दो महत्वपूर्ण बात बातें डिसाइड की गईं पहले के एक कोऑर्डिनेशन कमेटी होगी और दूसरी कि जल्दी से जल्दी जो सीट शेयरिंग का मामला है उसको हम डिस्कस करके उसमें हम रेजोल्यूशन निकाल देंगे नरेंद्र मोदी और अदानी जी के बीच में जो रिश्ता है उसके बारे में मैंने कल बोला इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल न्यूज़पेपर्स में आया है कि एक बिलियन डॉलर्स एक बिलियन डॉलर पैसा हिंदुस्तान से गया है बाहर गया है और वापस आया है नरेंद्र मोदी जी जी ट्वेंटी करा रहे हैं और हिंदुस्तान की इज्जत का मामला है नरेंद्र मोदी जी को कह देना चाहिए कि वो इंक्वायरी कराएंगे और अगर वो इंक्वायरी नहीं कराएंगे तो फिर पूरे देश को पता लग जाएगा कि क्यों इंक्वायरी नहीं कराई जा रही है स्टेज पे जो नेता हैं जो पार्टीज हैं वो हिंदुस्तान के 60 परसेंट लोगों को रिप्रेजेंट करती हैं और अगर हम एक साथ मिलके चुनाव लड़ेंगे तो बीजेपी चुनाव जीत ही नहीं सकती है और मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है कि जो हमारी पार्टीज हैं जो हमारे नेता हैं उनके बीच में जो रैपोर है जो फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी है वो गहरी गहरा हो गहरी होती जा रही है और मुझे लगता है कि इंडिया अलायंस बीजेपी को चुनाव में आसानी से हरा देगा बीजेपी बीजेपी हिंदुस्तान के गरीब लोगों से धन छीन कर चुने हुए दो तीन लोगों को देती है हमने प्रोग्राम्स की बात की है एक हम कमेटी बना रहे हैं जो पॉलिसीज के बारे में डिस्कशन करेगी और जो हमारे किसान हैं मजदूर हैं गरीब लोग हैं उनके लिए जो हमारा विजन है वो हम थोड़ी ही देर में हिंदुस्तान को आप सबको दिखाएंगे थैंक यू